so you can make the car affordable. That's actually the, the, the important thing. Um, so there's, and there's really two main, main dimensions along which uh, cost optimization and making something available to the national market can be achieved. Global lithium ion battery production is expected to increase from 265 gubbo in 2022 to 580.3 Q in 2028. However, to achieve this figure, lithium batteries must lower their prices to attract customers' attention. So have you ever wondered why the price of lithium batteries is always high? The problem lies in expensive electrode materials such as cobalt and nickel which account for a high proportion of the electrode composition. Luckily, Tesla is gradually switching to using cheaper materials like graphite and hard carbon in an effort to reduce lithium battery prices. So why are these two materials potential for lithium batteries? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Hard carbon is a solid form of carbon that cannot be converted to graphite by heat treatment, even at temperatures as high as 3000 C. Hard carbon is made by heating carbon precursors such as lignine to about 1000 C in the absence of oxygen. Meanwhile, Graphite is an allotrope of carbon found in ore mines when mining coal. Artificial graphite is usually made from petroleum coke. How did these materials evolve over time? These two electrode constituents have been the subjects of relentless research and development spanning several decades, each contributing significantly to the evolution of electrochemical energy technology, albeit with distinct historical trajectories. Graphite made its foray into the scientific arena as far back as the early 19th century when Humphrey Davy's groundbreaking discovery illuminated its remarkable electrical conductivity. This pivotal revelation underscored graphite's innate capacity to facilitate the flow of electric current, rendering it a prized candidate for deployment as an electrode material across a myriad of electrical applications. Davy's groundbreaking revelation concerning the conductive attributes of graphite marked a seminal moment in the annals of scientific discovery, thrusting graphite into the limelight as a versatile contender for a myriad of electronic and scientific applications. However, despite its promising potential, graphite did not immediately ascend to widespread popularity as certain limitations impeded its integration into battery packs during that era. A pivotal juncture in the graphite narrative occurred with the advent of lithium-ion battery development, which took root in the 1970 SF. Within this context, graphite found renewed relevance as a favored medium for lithium storage in the anode. Owing to its exceptional lithium retention capacity, crucially, graphite exhibited the remarkable attribute of maintaining its crystal structure relatively unaltered during the absorption and release of lithium, a feature instrumental in safeguarding battery longevity while mitigating the perils of overrating or combustion. Commercial lithium-ion batteries made their debut in the market during the 1990s marking a transformative moment in energy storage technology. Subsequently, the graphite anodes within these batteries underwent a continuous process of refinement, aimed at optimizing performance and extending battery life. It is worth noting that from that pivotal era up to the present moment, as you engage with this content, graphite has solidified its status as a ubiquitous and indispensable component within lithium battery packs emblematic of the enduring evolution in energy storage solutions. In stark contrast to naturally sourced graphite, hard carbon emerges through a high temperature pyrolysis process, distinct in its origin and production methodology. The inception of hard carbon as a subject of scientific inquiry occurred later in the timeline, specifically in the 1990s, with primary research endeavors directed towards comprehending its intricate structural intricacies and electrochemical attributes particularly, concerning its suitability within battery applications. The subsequent decades spanning from 2000 to 2010 witnessed the progressive integration of hard carbon anodes into the realm of commercial and industrial applications, most notably within high-capacity lithium-ion batteries. 
a cornerstone in the domains of electric vehicles and energy storage. Presently, hard carbon anodes remain subjects of relentless development and enhancement, with an unwavering focus on fortifying their performance benchmarks, extending operational longevity, and optimizing cost efficiency across a diverse spectrum of power-related applications. In unison, Enterprises and researchers ardently collaborate to refine the structural composition and intrinsic properties of hard carbon, driven by the burgeoning demand for energy and advanced energy storage solutions, thus undersoaring the dynamic and evolving landscape of energy technology. Hard carbon anode Vs, graphite anode, which electrode material will be more effective with lithium, when these two materials are made into components for the positive electrode of a lithium battery, they will have different advantages and disadvantages. Previously, graphite was more commonly used on lithium-ion batteries than hard carbon. Because hard carbon has different physical properties from graphite, the Li ion can intercalate into layered carbon atoms, and it absorbs on the surface of single carbon layers in hard carbon atoms. Adsorption shows a higher rate than intercalation. Therefore, the disordered structure of hard carbon has a higher capacity to accommodate Li ions compared to graphite, which may contribute to higher energy efficiency at high speeds, and it may be a factor. Important for improving the battery's energy efficiency at higher charging and discharging rates. Besides, because the open pore structure of hard carbon can contain more sodium ions, the expansion and contraction of the electrode during the charging and discharging process are more uniform than those of graphite, thereby improving the cycle stability and life of hard carbon anodes. Unfortunately, hard carbon usually has a lower electrochemical capacity of 300 mas g, while graphite has an electrochemical capacity of about 372 mas g. High electrochemical capacity allows the battery to store more energy, which means the battery can power devices for longer periods of time. Hard carbon also has the additional disadvantage of a relatively higher irreversible capacity loss during the first cycle compared to graphite because hard carbon with higher porosity will consume more lions in the electrolyte to form SEI. However, Hard carbon has lower production costs for hard carbon anodes, and raw materials are easier to obtain, which makes hard carbon anodes have lower costs and stronger market competitiveness in production. For example, hard carbon extracted from lignin found in dry recycled materials such as grass, wood, and lignin costs around $500 slash 2,204 LB. Meanwhile, graphite is quite scarce and imported mainly from China. So it will have a higher price in the range of $820 slash 2,204 LB. In terms of electrical conductivity, graphite anode has a higher specific conductivity and can transport charge faster than hard carbon anode, which means graphite anode can support a higher charging rate and react faster with charge and discharge, thus increasing the output power of the lithium battery. To make it easier to understand, the graphite anode is like a larger water pipe. It can transport more water, charge, in the same amount of time as a smaller, hard carbon water pipe. Graphite is a highly refractory material with a high melting temperature of 3650 C compared to hard carbon at 2000 C. This results in graphite anodes with better physical strength and stability so they are less susceptible to deformation and fragmentation, thereby improving battery safety and longevity. On the other hand, hard carbon has achieved a practical discharge capacity of 550 ma slash g. For graphite, the theoretical discharge capacity is 372 ma slash g, and the actual capacity is 350 ma slash g. So hard carbon has great potential to be suitable for the positive electrode. Hard carbon is often easily reused and can be a more environmentally friendly option than graphite, which can cause environmental pollution when not disposed of properly. Broadly speaking, both of these components exhibit a set of merits and demerits that influence their roles within the anode assembly of a lithium ion battery. In the case of hard carbon, 
It distinguishes itself with commendable cycling stability and efficient lithium ion retention. Conversely, graphite presents its own array of advantages, prominently encompassing cost effectiveness, superior conductivity, and swifter charging capabilities. Graphite-based anodes emerge as the preferred choice when the need arises for elevated output power and enhanced physical resilience. How has Tesla invested in these two materials? The reality is that Tesla incorporated graphite into its lithium battery packs at an early stage, coinciding with the launch of the Tesla Roadster model featuring the 1860 battery pack. This particular battery generation employed a composite anode material, which included synthetic graphite, alongside a variety of other chemical additives. Notwithstanding its initial utilization, the application of synthetic graphite within the 1860 battery packs exhibited certain shortcomings. Primarily, it suffered from elevated impurity levels, thereby giving rise to issues concerning the durability and performance of the battery. Recognizing the inadequacies associated with synthetic graphite, Tesla embarked on a comprehensive research endeavor that ultimately led to a paradigm shift in 2012. This pivotal moment saw Tesla transition from synthetic to natural graphite. Natural graphite, in contrast, presented distinct advantages in terms of energy density and longevity. When compared to its synthetic counterpart, natural graphite boasted the ability to extend the battery's lifespan owing to its inherent characteristics. This superiority primarily stemmed from graphite's innate conductivity, which facilitated swifter and more efficient charging and discharging processes within the battery. Nonetheless, the utilization of graphite gradually waned within Tesla's battery technology as the company introduced new battery generations, such as the implementation of lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries in the Model 3. Simultaneously, Tesla shifted its focus towards alternative components. Given the expense associated with materials like cobalt and nickel for electrode production, graphite slowly receded from prominence. New generations of material technology bring high efficiency to lithium batteries, but things get more difficult as materials like cobalt and nickel become more expensive. Specifically, the record high price of nickel and cobalt in the U.S. in 2018 was $37.43 per pound. To prevent the price of expensive materials from rising too high and affecting the price of lithium-ion batteries in the near future, Tesla has quietly returned to graphite material along with developing hard carbon. Commencing in late 2021 and extending into the present, Tesla forged agreements with specialized graphite providers to bolster their lithium battery packs. In December 2021, Tesla formally entered into a binding offtake agreement with Sira Resources, an Australia-based company for the supply of graphite as an anode material sourced from its Vidalia production facility in Louisiana, USA. Details regarding the quantity and pricing were not disclosed by either party. Transitioning into early 2023, Tesla's collaboration with the Australian graphite developer Magnus Energy has yielded another binding offtake agreement. Under this arrangement, Magnus Energy will supply Tesla with anode materials for batteries over a minimum duration of three years. Commencing in February 2025, the company has committed to providing Tesla with a minimum of 17,500 terapascals of anode active material, which is integral to the production of lithium-ion batteries. Specifically, in early September, Sunrise New Energy, a Chinese manufacturer specializing in battery components, announced that it had garnered the attention of Tesla. The company revealed that Tesla's battery materials team had reached out to inquire about technical specifications, production plans, and available production capacity for its products. Concurrently, the Chinese firm is in the process of seeking patents for two hard carbon composite materials. It appears that Tesla is actively exploring investments in hard carbon active components and has initiated contact with this Chinese company. Should the collaboration prove successful, patent applications may be imminent. 
Tesla has made substantial investments in the research and development of lithium battery technology. This strategic approach may pave the way for the exploration and adoption of novel electrode materials to enhance battery performance and functionality in the future. These prospective electrode materials could offer the added advantage of being more environmentally friendly compared to traditional counterparts, aligning with Tesla's commitment to minimizing its environmental footprint. Both hard carbon and graphite hold promise as viable candidates for extensive incorporation into lithium battery packs. By integrating hard carbon electrode materials, Tesla stands to maintain its competitive edge and broaden its market presence, particularly at a time when many manufacturers may not yet fully appreciate the potential of this material. Furthermore, it's worth noting that graphite assumes a pivotal role in electric vehicle EV batteries. In fact, it constitutes a substantial portion of the entire battery's composition, typically accounting for approximately 25% to 28% of the total battery makeup. As such, graphite remains a critical element in sustaining and advancing future battery technologies for electric vehicles. Graphite and hard carbon stand as pivotal constituents in the evolving landscape of lithium battery technology in the United States, poised to usher in a more cost-effective and efficient era for the energy and electronics sectors. Their integration holds the potential to revolutionize energy storage and consumption, underpinned by several crucial advantages. Production fade. In summation, graphite and hard carbon emerged as pivotal catalysts in the transformation of the lithium battery sector in the United States. The synergy of heightened performance, reduced production costs, and a positive environmental footprint heralds a promising future characterized by more affordable and efficient lithium batteries, benefiting both consumers and the broader ecosystem. So how do you assess the potential of hard cabborn and graphite if they become more popular as lithium battery electrode materials? We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel and don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.